Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I'm going to be repotting this whipcord cedar. This tree was given to me by Connor and it's growing in one of these pond baskets. And you can see it's just full of weeds and needs repotting. Here is a look at the tree. I've done some initial styling on it. I cut off some branches, trying to get a tree-like form. It was growing in more of a, like a shrub. There's some large surface roots I can see that need to be addressed. So I'm uh, eager to get it out of the pot and see what the root system looks like. These uh, long kind of branches on it can be pruned back. You can pinch them back and get quite, quite a nice fine foliage on them. They kind of look a bit like a juniper, I guess. Uh, so I don't know if I want to grow them long like this and keep it kind of like this weeping form or if I want to pinch them back and keep it tight and neat. Yeah, it's uh, a styling decision I'll have to make in the future. So let's get the tree out of the pot here and see what the root system looks like. It's quite early in the season to be repotting a thuja tree. It's been in the greenhouse here, so it is you know, it's turned bright green again and the tips are starting to turn a light green, so it, it's ready to grow. This is normally about a month early from when I normally repot my cedars. Uh, sometimes I don't repot them until early June because they just stay dormant until then. But this year it's been a really warm spring so far and the warm weather just seems to continue. So the tree's telling me it's time to repot it. And I don't want to miss repotting this one because it's in a large pot and I don't want to let it go another year without repotting it. So today is the day. Okay, so the first step, I've got to get it out of this pot. And sometimes it's easy with pond baskets and sometimes it's difficult because the roots tend to grow through the mesh and they kind of grip the pot. But I think, I hope <laughs> this one comes out fairly easily. There it comes. So it's growing in good bonsai soil, that's for sure. That'll help the root system. So let me take the pot away and I'll start raking out the root system. All right, here I go. Starting the raking. Very good crumbly soil. So cedars usually get, you know, quite a fine root system on them and they're tough roots. I'm just looking, I don't see any active root growth at the tips yet. At least not so far. And this is from nursery stock, this tree. So Matt had one of these trees in our KW show last fall and he pinched the tips and it looked really nice. It was a really cool tree. So that's one approach, you know, you can pinch all those tips and keep it compact and you get a yeah, quite a unique looking tree. So I think, you know, somewhere in that direction will be the right direction for this tree, kind of uh, keeping it pinched and uh, looking miniature. There's a bit of nursery soil in here still, not too much of it. So it looks like it has a pretty good root base. I think Connor has done some root work on this and done a very good job too. Okay, so that's got it pretty well bare rooted. I'll take it over to my washing station and just clean out all the soil so I can clearly see the root system and we'll come back and do the root pruning. I've got the root system washed on the tree and you know, it's a fairly good root system, nice and radial. So I removed, I killed off some of these large branches here because it was getting inverse taper and you can see it has extreme inverse taper from here. It gets thicker up to this point. So it, that's a bit of a problem with the tree um, yeah, it, it's definitely a problem. So what I need to do with this root base 
is you can see I've got a large root here on this side and most of the roots come out radially at this level so I need to establish my root plane so I've got two roots that are too high in the root base and I'm going to remove those it'll exaggerate you know you'll really see this taper this inverse taper on the tree but that's something I think will fix itself in the future as the root system grows and develops and I manage the top of the tree. So removing these roots on cedars, if I cut this root off, it's quite possible that the trunk of the tree will die up. And probably this root was feeding this branch and maybe the branch at the back too. But I think, you know, there's most of the trunk is feeding the apex of the tree or the the top of the tree. I don't think even if I get die back on the trunk here, I don't think it'll hurt the tree overall. It may even improve it if this section's all dead. It may improve the reverse taper in the future. So my first step is to remove that root. So here I go and I'm going to prune it off flush. Like that. So it removed, you know, a fair amount of fine roots, but there's still lots left. I'll clean that cut up because I want it to heal flush if possible. If it doesn't heal, if it just kills off that section of the trunk, it'll become part of the dead wood. So like that. And then the next root, this one's too high also, so I'll take it off. So that is gone. So that improves, you know, the look of my trunk line. It's certainly giving me a little higher trunk. And, you know, the inverse tapers there, but from this view, it's not quite as bad. So next, I'm going to look at my surface roots. So I can see there's a root here, the tip of it's dead, but there's some roots growing back here. So I'll take the dead tip off like that and maybe even take that whole root off because it's not really radial. So I'm going to, to remove it entirely. Keeping my better roots. This root is too high here. There's a little one coming off the trunk. Some root hairs up there I can take off. It's cleaning up that trunk line. There's a root here. If this is my root plane here, some of these roots are getting a little too deep in the pot. So I'm going to prune them back to here. In fact, I'll just kind of prune off the bottom of the root base a bit making it flat on the bottom like that. There is a strange root in here. It kind of zigzags, but it is quite radial, but it's quite low in the root base. But I think I'll leave it on. And that's something that can be removed in the future as the surface roots grow stronger. I don't want to take too much off at once. This root, I can take it back further. There's lots of subdividing roots up higher. So I'll take the tip off that one. I'll do a general profile prune to the root system. Like that. And then I'm just examining all the surface roots. Uh, seeing if there's any that aren't growing a good direction. They all, they're all looking quite good, actually. I'm a little worried about this part grows up kind of out of the root plane. I think I'm going to take that part of it off like that and take this one back a bit further. A little too vigorous, those roots. And I think, I think that's it. That's a fairly good radial root base. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now up top in the tree, you can see I've left, 
you know, some dead wood here and here. I am going to clean up some of this dead wood. I, I don't want this sort of a division there. I'm going to prune that back. I'll take this stub off here. So I'm sure, you know, this is, I killed off these branches, so I'm sure this section of the trunk will be dead. So I think, you know, in future that can become dead wood down the trunk and it'll really help that reverse taper. I'm thinking before I plant the tree, I better reduce the top a bit. It's a little top heavy. I don't need all this growth, so I'll get rid of some of these branches that are going kind of strange directions like that one. Um, you know, I've got a lot of multiple branches coming from one spot. So I can prune some of those away. I think the front of the tree is going to be somewhere here. So I can prune this one away on the inside here. will take off I'll take this one back I've got some multiple branches coming out here I can take some of the little ones out cleaning, cleaning up the structure a bit I've got two branches coming from one spot there I'll remove this one There's one growing in between these two branches. I'll remove that. I can take the whole top off this tree, keeping my best branches. So I'll remove this one. And take that off, this one off. And this one. Just kind of thinning it out. Take this one off. There's a dead branch here I can remove. Some multiple branches coming off of here that need to be reduced. I'll take the top off there, like that. something going on here. I've got this branch divides into two here and this one's rowing parallel so I'll take that part of it off and I'll take that whole one off actually. And I got still too many branches here. I'll take this will I take the lower one? Yeah. Take the lower one off. Clean up that stub here like that. That helps that structure. Here I've got a lot of branches coming from one spot. Um, take this one out. Take these inside ones out. Like that. Quite a reduction, but I think it'll help the tree in the future. And then so when I still have three branches coming from one spot here, I'm going to take off this one. It's overhanging the other branch below it. And there's a stub there I can take back. Yeah, I think that's got a lot of the structural problems sorted out on the tree. And it's taking quite a bit of weight off the top. Now I will pinch these 
tips back. So I'll just come in and kind of maybe the length of my thumb and just uh, prune them. Pinching doesn't seem to work very well, they're a bit tough. So I hope, you know, this is a new species for me. It's a Thuja, but it's, I've never had one of these whipcord ones before. And I'm hoping I'm doing the right thing pruning it back. I guess time will tell. If it doesn't survive, it doesn't survive. But I think it will. Okay, so that's got the tree pruned back pretty good now. I think that's looking really good. It's time to plant the tree now. I think a good pot for this tree is this plastic training pot. I think it's a good size. So I'll get some soil on the bottom of the pot and we'll get the tree planted. I've got a base layer of soil in the pot. So now I want to position the tree. And I'm just trying to find, this is a nice view here, actually. The root base looks good. Trunks look good. My thicker trunks at the back, but I could develop this. If I go around to my old front, it's not quite as attractive looking. The back's got too much dead wood. Yeah, this is definitely the nicest root base here. So I'm going to plant it here and I, I may kind of work on that upper structure in the future. That height is good in the pot and I think just offsetting it a little bit will look quite good right about there. Yeah, I think that's not a bad view. So I'll fill in the pot now with soil. I'll just make sure my roots are raked out. Get them radial as possible. And untangled and yeah, right there. Okay, I'll start filling it in with soil now. So here I go. Let me just show you the view from the top first. Here's a look at the tree from the top so you can see how the roots fit in the pot quite nicely. And the front view of the tree, well, it looks good. Something I can work on in the future is the upper structure. Okay, in goes the soil. And I'll top it up. Tree's feeling nice and firm in the pot. There's no air pockets in the root system. And my soil level is looking good. So I am ready to water the tree. All right, here I go with the water. I'll place some stones on the surface of the soil just to hold the tree in place until those roots grow in the pot. Like that. I'll rotate the tree around now so you can see it from all angles. So here is the current front coming around to the right hand side, to the back, the left hand side, and back to the front. So the front could change in the future but it certainly had the nicest root base and I think I can work with the structure, you know, developing this one a little thicker and yeah, managing the structure. And I think, I think I'll end up with a pretty nice looking tree in the future. My whipcord cedar or Thuja is ready to grow for the summer. Another tree repotted in the long list of trees that I need to repot this spring. So that's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the bonsai zone.